Hey guys, we need your help with a huge decision. In fact, it's a $37,000 decision, Andre? Yes, to be precise, it's $37,500. So you guys are gonna spend our money, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, yeah. So at the end of this video, we're gonna tell you where to go uh, for a poll that we've put up that you can actually uh, let us know what you think we should do. And we will, I promise, Andre, do what the fans say we should do. No way. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. it, it, we, we may end up spending a lot more money today because of this video. Uh, so let's talk about the TFL Lightning. Yes, so we've made a decision to purchase the brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning electric truck. Hold on, we didn't make the decision. You made the decision. The second that truck was unveiled, yes. you were actually at I your computer in the reservation. with your hot hands <laughs> immediately jumping on the reservation. So we got one of the early reservations and thank you very much. But the yes. question, Andre, is how much does it start at? So the truck, well, first of all, the reservation was $100. Oh, that's that's okay. done. All right, that's uh, done. The truck starts at 39974 <laughs> And I just reached out to Ford, yeah. actually. And they said that, because I said, we want to be one of the first people to like, get this Like truck. we were with the Tundra and the TRX. Exactly. We got to keep that roll. Yes. And they said uh, every version, the Pro, the XLT, the Lariat, and the Platinum, they said they will all be available at launch. Really? Yes. I hope you're right because we're going to configure one today and the one that we configure is the one that we're going to end up buying because our friends at Brighton Ford where we bought this truck uh, contacted you, right? And they said we need to pick and build right our now. truck. Yeah, right, right now. now. Yeah. Yes. So this is super exciting. <laughs> I, I can't wait. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we will uh, pick one that is not only great for video, but also will be one of the first to be built. So what are the decisions that we have to make and what are the decisions that we're going to need help with? So you know me, I like simple trucks. Yes. So let's build one first. Um, and this is the one I kind of zeroed in on initially. This was the Pro. They call it the Pro. Uh, it's the most basic truck. So I'm going to do it right now. And it starts at 39000 uh, 974 before destination charges. Okay. So and then, and we, many we, caveats. Let me ask you this. And I believe we have a commitment from our friends at Brighton that they will not charge us over MSRP. That's the unspoken in, commitment. In fact, this video may be that commitment. <laughs> Thank you, guys. It helps. Well, actually, we've had that relationship with them for a yes, couple of years. Yes, so. yeah. They lend us trucks to go review. So thank you, Brighton. We're very grateful. So F-150 Lightning um, in red. I think it has to be red, TFL red. Uh, this is called Rapid Red Metallic. You sure you want to make it red? Uh, $495. Hmm. You know, when I walk out of our uh, offices, studios, and I see all the red trucks <laughs> parked in front, I sometimes don't know which one. <laughs> so maybe we should do it like the very first truck we bought. Remember back in the day we bought the very first Raptor, mm -hmm. and we made it. We did it in blue. I know that's your truck. Are there different blue options? So there's Atlas Blue Metallic. And there is also antimatter blue. Now, the antimatter color is very dark. It's very dark. You've yes. seen it, right? Yes. It we, sometimes we, looks we had, black. We have the tremor. Yeah. Uh, and then the Atlas blue is not velocity blue like my truck. It's a different blue, and I don't know exactly how it looks in real life. Look, we had the blue Raptor. Uh, I think we got to go with Ford blue. Okay, and that's free. Oh, that hey, color is better, free. Better. Okay. Don't worry, you guys so, will have a chance. To, this, these are minor things that were the big question we'll leave to you. Keep going. Okay, so the Pro comes already with several things 12 inch infotainment screen, uh, Co Pilot uh, 360 Ford uh, driver assistance technologies, but a very basic one version of that. 2.4 kilowatt pro, uh, pro on board uh, output inverter generator. And then, of course, uh, I would pick the Max Trailer into package. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, but that um, in the small, in the smaller battery, it only costs, uh, it can only tow 7,700 pounds. Wait, 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 wait. What is this I hear about a smaller battery? This is a small battery. There's a small and a big battery? Yeah, standard and extended range. Get out. What are the, what are the well, kilowatt that, sizes? That's where that $37,000 problem comes in. Okay, all right. Um, all right. I see a little foreshadowing here, Andre. Yeah, foreshadowing. So in order to get the max trailering package, I have to buy 9.6 kilowatt pro power on board. Yeah, but that's uh, cool. I mean, uh, we could, we could. It's you know, cool. We can power a house, and we actually did that. <laughs> yes. That video is coming up on TFL Truck very soon. Yes. If you remember the first video, we did not manage to power house with your Ford hybrid, but the next one, I'm not going to give it away. It's coming on truck. Okay, so max trailing package, fine. Seventy seven hundred pounds is not a huge amount. Yeah, it's okay. But it's, it's okay. It's better than a mid-sized truck. Uh, 
and it's also 230 mile range. And, and by the way, guys, if you are wondering what the best place to find that video is, head on over to tfl-studios.com where we put all of our videos, our news stories, our podcasts. Don't forget our podcast. Andre does a great podcast called Talking Trucks, and you can get all that in one place at tfl-studios.com. So um, Max Towing, 7,700 pounds. I'm okay with that for now. Okay. Um, we often don't tow much above eight, so that's okay. Uh, bedliner, 595. I think it has to have a bedliner. Gotta have a bedliner. You can't. Okay. It's, you so, know. and that's about it, dude. I, I can't stand a scratched bed. It just, it just, it's like nails on chalk. It just, woof. That's about it. Uh, okay. bl uh, Bliss uh, cross traffic alert system is already included. Reverse sensing. All right. Uh, well, what if we want to do Ford's new Blue Cruise and see if it's actually, you know, autonomous? What happens then? It's not available on this model. Ooh. That's where the issue comes in, and that's where we, we need your help. So the final price on this Pro model, uh, the way I configured it, is 44199 Affordable, dude. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> you know, it's funny, dude. I remember we had, this, we, we had this huge discussion about, like, when will trucks break 100000 right? <laughs> right? We were expecting the heavy-duty trucks to cross that threshold, and then within one pandemic <laughs> right now it seems like the new There's silverado ev yes. the hummer ev uh is well over a hundred thousand uh and i'm sure the cyber truck is going to be knocking on the door of that as well uh and uh, this you know might be as well if you get to the higher premium level so so we've got kind of a basic work truck at just forty four thousand, right yeah that's one option all right, so let's say that we want to tow more and we actually want to do some more uh, kind of autonomous driving and testing. What, what's our next option? So the, the only way to get the larger battery for 300 miles of range is to actually to step up to the XLT Okay, and how, model. Much, how much is the larger battery? So look at this. Yeah. Uh, pay attention to the screen. Right. Uh, XLT starts at 52974 As soon as I click the extended range battery, the price jumps about 20 grand. <laughs> whoa, 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 uh, dude, 20 grand to 72,474. How many kilowatt hours? This is 131 kilowatt hours. And we're going from how much to how much? Uh, 230 miles of range to 300 miles of range. And we're going from 7,700 pounds of towing to 10,000 pounds of towing. All right, towing. so for 70, 000, 70 miles of range and a, let's say 3,000 pounds of towing ish, we have to pay 20,000. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Uh, you need to help us Ouch. right now. Well, this is what this is. This is the crux of the issue. Is there a way that we can, we can maybe get uh, a higher trim where the cost is offset by getting a higher trim? So, how much would it cost? Let me ask you this: How much would it cost to get the um, limp? What's the what's the what's what is Ford called their middle? The what? lariat. The lariat. Yeah. yeah. I almost said limited. Sorry, Toyota. Uh, <laughs> the lariat. Uh, sorry, Ford. Uh, uh, how much would the lariat cost if we configure it in such a manner? Um, so let's let's keep looking. Yeah. So only about five grand more, but the Lariat also has many other features, including Blue Cruise, which is semi-autonomous driver assistance. You know, I'm sure they like like war game this out. <laughs> Because <laughs> they knew our minds, <laughs> yeah, they knew it. Yeah, exactly. When they were coming up with this pricing structure, so <laughs> so to go from the XLT to the bigger battery is 20k. But then if you go with the Lariat, it's a few thousand dollars more. But then the battery costs less. Is that right? The big battery? Cor correct. The battery, the larger battery, is only ten thousand. Only. Only ten thousand. It's ten thousand dollars. But, but you, you get also more get features. other features and more luxury. Like what? What do you get? Well, Blue Cruise is one of them. Okay. You also get, let me show you. And not so, to be confused with Super Cruise, which is GM's. You also get the f what they call 511A package on this Lariat. You get the huge screen, 15 and a half inches of vertical screen, like in the Mach-E. Okay. Uh, you get that. You get, of course, the extended range battery is part of this. Uh, you get uh, power tilt telescoping wheel, you know, 80 amp for charge station pro. Do, do we get, go ahead. Charge Station Pro, dude. So we can actually hook it up to our office and potentially do bi-directional uh, power. That would be a cool video. Yes. Now keep in mind, guys, when you're you know voting on this uh, poll that we're going to put out there, that is out there actually right now as we speak over on this channel, TFL Now. And on the community page. On the community page, yes. If you go to the community page, we're going to have a poll asking which of these configurations we should buy. Keep in mind that for us, even though it does cost more money, uh, it's also an opportunity to make more videos. So that's important to us. So we do want to test out the features, and we do want to be able to kind of do videos testing out neat new features. And if we get the base truck, we can't do that. But we'll let you decide. Um, so how much is that one? So with Bing and, Bing and all of the sound system, eight speakers included, yeah. with a subwoofer, 
Um, Sirius XM. Nathan would love to test that out. I could see him. Ozzy's Boneyard. I can see that. Yes. Yes, I can see it right now. And with all of that, uh-huh. 80,629. Whoa. Whoa, now we're talking. So that's where the 37.5 came in. Okay. That, we started the video. Get this simpler truck, a little bit less towing, less mileage, less range. Um, or s- actually get more features because we can make more videos for you, for you guys, right? Uh, more features, better range, yes, more towing. Yes, but, but there's never been a video in TFL's history that has made 30,000. In fact, I'm no. not sure there has been many that have made 3,000, <laughs> let alone 300. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> so we, we need to make like 100 videos. <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> we get really bored <laughs> of the TFL lightning. All right. Uh, there is a platinum level. Uh, yes, that's how, all in. How much? How, 22s, uh, different leather. How much, how much is a platinum all in? 90 four grand all right we don't need 20 uh, let's just let's just take that one out of the equation no, all right gone <laughs> not done. we're not so really the choice uh, and the poll that we're putting up is should we get the pro the xlt or the limited yes uh, and the price is significant stark the difference. difference yeah, yeah huge yeah, yeah so between the pro and an xlt with a long range it's about thirty-two thousand, and between the pro and the lariat with the long range battery is about 37.5 yes so help us decide in the poll below it's also on instagram yes at tfl truck instagram account okay uh and then when can we expect this to be built and delivered well for I, I asked this because I, no matter which configuration we get, we're going to have to sell some things to help pay for this. So yes. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how much longer we can keep these other vehicles that we're going to be reviewing so uh, that we can buy this and sell those. So when, when, when do you so, think we're going to get this truck? I'm, I'm guessing May-ish time frame. Okay. Because they said, you know, spring, uh, April, May, June. So it will be, I'm, I'm hoping we'll be one of the first people as we always try for you guys. So I'm thinking May. Yeah. But I'm not... A Ford factory manager. And can, so. can, can I um, can I make a plea to Ford now? Uh, Ford, uh, we know you. You know us. Uh, we've had our ups and downs in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't all been perfect. Yes. Uh, but uh, I do want to ask you that if uh, we do configure one. Um, that it is hopefully one of the early ones because we do have uh, millions of people out there and I do watching us, yeah, yeah millions that are going to be watching this truck uh, and they're going to want to know how does it tow how does it haul how does it do you know at the ranch how does it go up the Ike gauntlet how does it do in our in our extended uh, range loop uh, and can a powerhouse, you know, we and can it beat a TRX in a drag race? Can it beat a TRX in a drag race <laughs> yeah. if we still have a TRX at that point? Yes. <laughs> uh, so these are all the questions I think that our viewers forward are going to want to know. And you know, we, you could get a lot of great engineering um, help and expertise from us from our testing. I think is that being too proud and. No, well, no. I, I, I'm just I, saying because lots of times the engineers call us because we're we're actually doing a lot of this kind of real world testing. And actually, Ford engineers already are testing on the Ike. Yeah, you know, sure. you saw them uh, testing there. You know, uh, up on I-70 and here in Colorado. You think, so you think they're drag racing these? Uh, at the I'm sure. Grounds? By the way, the extended range battery also gives you a little more horsepower. Ooh. So that's another big reason to consider. Well, we we we, we definitely know that. Uh, the truck is quick because they've been, uh, you know, they were doing a launch at the uh, Aliado show that we were at. With yeah, them. indoors. They indoors, were kind yeah. of accelerating. It. Yeah, so yeah. there you go. Help us choose between Pro, XLT, and Lariat. And guys, remember, go over to the community page. Just click on the community link and that poll will be up right now. Uh, and Or go to our Instagram, TFL Trucks Instagram, same thing. Uh, and we will abide by your decision. Um, yes. So you will be spending our money or saving our money, depending <laughs> on, on which you decide. Well, yeah. guys, as always, this is Roman. And Andre. Saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out the TFL Talking Trucks podcast that Andre and Nathan do if you really want. Uh, what's the latest one? You did a deep dive on the uh, Silverado EV, right? You talked with the uh, chief engineer and got really uh, into the weeds. Yeah, exactly. So there's um, a big, uh, also competition to the new Silverado EV. We talked about the Lightning, of course. We talked about the Rivian and others. Uh, we also did uh, missed opportunities. You did the one podcast on the cars. Yeah, missed opportunities. We also did uh, one for truck. So yeah, like cool trucks that should have been built. That, yeah, but that, that are not. Yeah, I know, I know. So there you have it. There you go. All right. See you guys next time. Ciao.